Hey everyone, today's video is probably going to feel a little bit different, but no worries because it's still going to be brilliant. I'm exploring food that comes from my roots as I check out Mimi Chinese Restaurant near the Yorkville neighborhood in Toronto. It's going to be spectacular and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Get excited, it's time to get food. Dimly lit and oozing with style and elegance, chefs David Schwartz, Braden Chong, and Keith Xiu present their elevated take on traditional Chinese cuisine here at Mimi Chinese. With much anticipation, Mimi Chinese opened its doors in October of this year. It was years in the planning and was originally supposed to launch back in the spring of 2020. But due to the global situation at the time, it just didn't make sense. So the team quickly pivoted and started a pop-up takeout style concept known as Sunny's Chinese. Right from the beginning, this subscription style pop-up was wildly popular with both diners and food critics all across Toronto. In fact, the food was so good, it almost became impossible to secure a reservation. It even won the title of best takeout food in Air Canada's review of the best new restaurants in 2021. Tasting the food and experiencing its evolution to the more upscale Mimi Chinese, I can definitely see why. Chinese is served share plate style. And that makes sense because traditional Chinese dining is often a communal experience. We started our evening off with some wine and their smack cucumber salad from the raw and cooling section of the menu. And the shrimp toast, which came from the savory and warming section. The chefs at Mimi really wanted to showcase the regional nuances of Chinese cuisine. For example, the bright and lively salad represented Sichuan culinary traditions and was an absolutely appetite-inducing. And the shrimp toast, hailing from the Guangdong province, was a crispy flavor bomb, a huge hit with our table. Next up is one of the signature dishes here at Mimi Chinese, the four-foot belt noodle. see it was quite the crowd pleaser with this theatrical display. The taste didn't disappoint either. The chili oil gave us that endorphin rush and the earthiness from the mushrooms was well supported by the expertly executed texture of the noodle. Another stunning dish and a wonderful representative of the Shangxi province. We follow that up with a delicately flavored sea bass bathing in house-made soy broth and accented with scallion, leek, and ginger aromatics. We also had a serving of stir-fried gai lan, which had a surprisingly complex and robust flavor. This was probably due to the fermented mustard greens and the chili shrimp oil. And it wasn't over yet. The hits just kept coming. This Mapu Tofu beef, a classic from the Sichuan province, delivered that signature numbing effect utilizing that Sichuan peppercorn. Their chef special, House Char Siu, was also an absolute delight. A balance of lean and fatty pork exploding with sweet and savory flavors. And the caramelized soybeans added a pop of nutty flavor to this dish. This house char siu is one of my absolute favorites and definitely one of the big recommendations from this evening. And finally, as a nod to Chinese banquet style dining, 
where fried rice is often served towards the end of the meal. Mimi's supreme fried rice hit the spot, especially with the optional addition of salmon roe, which added a burst of flavor and an elegance, elevating this traditional Guangdong dish. If I had to sum up this experience in a single word, it would have to be stunning. We had an amazing time, and I'm sure you will too once you visit Mimi Chinese. Just don't get a little too upset with me when you find that it's a little hard to book a table, but trust me, it is worth it. The hype is real, folks. Much respect to the team over at Mimi Chinese. You guys made it a wonderful evening. I also wanna say a huge thank you to all of you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, then as always, please give it the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you're looking for more content like this where I feature amazing food, then make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already. I can't wait to share more of my experiences with you guys. Looking forward to doing this all over again very soon. Catch you all next time when I get food.